Hello everyone, I am going to discuss about method of applied mathematics. I am Rani, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, Sakti College of Arts and Science for Women, Otan Jatram. My topic is Laplace and Fourier Transform. There are many problems of Fourier series and Fourier Transforms. Now discuss two problems. First problem is find the finite cosine transform of f of x if first one f of x equal to pi by 3 minus x plus x squared by 2 pi. Second one f of x equal to sin nx. The first problem solution is If given f of x equal to pi by 3 minus x plus x squared by 2 pi. Recall that formula f c of f of x equal to f c of x e equal to integral 0 to pi f of x cos pi s x divided by pi into dx. That is equal to integral 0 to pi f of x cos x s dx. That is f c of f of x equal to f c of f of x means given problem is pi by 3 minus x plus x squared by 2 pi. So integral 0 to pi pi by 3 minus x plus x squared by 2 pi into cos s x into dx. That is formula integral u dv equal to u v minus integral v du. That is a Bernoulli's formula. Then, so pi by 3 minus x plus x squared by 2 pi into sin sx divided by s limit 0 to pi minus 1 by s integral 0 to pi minus 1 plus x by pi sin sx dx. Next, applying the limit, first one is 0 minus 1 by s into minus 1 plus x by pi into cos sx divided by s limit 0 to pi plus 1 by s integral 0 to pi 1 by pi cos sx dx that is common value of minus 1 by s into minus 1 by s minus of minus 1 plus 1 into cos sx divided by s plus 1 by s squared pi into sin sx limit 0 to pi that is cos s pi equal to minus 1 sin pi equal to 0 and sin 0 equal to 0 these formulas are applied this that is final answer is 1 by s square if s equal to 1 2 3 up to etc then second one is f of x equal to sin nx formula is fc of f of x which is implies fc of sin nx that is integral 0 to pi sin nx into cos sx into dx that is formula sin a into cos b equal to sin a plus b plus sin a minus b divided by 2. This formula is applied as that is equal to 1 by 2 integral 0 to pi sin of n plus s into x plus sin of n minus s into x into dx. Cos n pi value is minus 1 the whole power n. That is equal to minus 1 by 2 that is common value cos of n plus s into x divided by n plus s plus cos of n minus s into x divided by n minus s limit 0 to pi applying the limit upper limit pi and then lower limit 0 first one upper limit pi means minus 1 by 2 into cos of n plus s into pi divided by n plus s minus 1 by n plus s plus lower limit that is 0 so cos of n minus s into pi divided by n minus s minus 1 by n minus s that is equal to minus 1 by 2 into cos n pi value is minus 1 the whole power n therefore minus 1 the whole power n plus s divided by n plus s plus minus 1 the whole power n minus s divided by n minus s minus 1 by n plus s minus 1 by n minus s that is equal to 0 if n plus s is even 
1 by 2 into 2 by n plus s plus 2 by n minus s if n plus s is add that is equal to 0 if n plus s is even 2 divided by n square minus s square is if n plus s is add this is the solution second problem is so the the finite sign transform of x by pi is minus 1 the whole power n minus s into 1 by s solution is f of x value is x by pi then using formula f s of f of x equal to f s of x by pi that is equal to 0 to pi x by pi sin s x into d s that is equal to 1 by pi is a constant value so 1 by pi into integral 0 to pi sin s x d x that is equal to 1 this formula is using this integral f of x g of x dx equal to f of x integral g of x dx minus integral f dash of x integral g of x dx into dx take f of x equal to x and g of x equal to sin s x that is integral 0 to pi x sin s x dx equal to x into integral 0 to pi x sin s x into dx minus integral 0 to pi d by dx of x another one integral is 0 to pi sin s x dx into dx that is equal to using Bernoulli's formula so minus x cos s x divided by s limit 0 to pi minus integral 0 to pi minus cos s x divided by s into ds that is equal to minus pi cos s pi divided by s plus integral 0 to pi cos s x divided by s into dx that is equal to minus pi cos s pi divided by s plus sin s x divided by s squared into limit 0 to pi that is equal to minus pi cos s pi divided by s the second limit is 0 that is equal to minus pi cos s pi divided by s this is a required solution this solution in applying in equation 1 so f s of f of x equal to 1 by pi s into minus pi of cos s pi that is equal to cos n pi value equal to minus 1 so minus 1 the whole power s plus 1 divided by s that is f s of x by pi equal to minus 1 the whole power s plus 1 into 1 by s. Hence prove. Thank you.